And for this, we're going to jump over to our other set over Second there. Second set. And throw it to J.W. Cox. I've always wanted to throw it over there. Now I finally can. J.W.? I've always wanted to catch it from over there. Nice. So uh, it's good to be here on set number two and joined, as Kenton said, by more student athletes from our winter season. We've got a mix of wrestlers up here. Not sure what you call a bunch of wrestlers together. Maybe we could figure that out, but uh, we'll start on the left here. We've got Joey Nerdall, Emily Shilson, and Tyler Shilson from Centennial. Joey's from Spring Lake Park, as you can see by the Panther sweatshirt. And then we've got Jake Berglund here uh, as well. well. We'll start down here with you, Joey, about uh, your season as a senior for the Panthers uh, going to the state tournament. We've talked about the state tournament on this show. We've had highlights of all of you guys wrestling there. We know what an atmosphere it is. From your point of view as a wrestler, what's that state tournament like? What's it like when you get to that stage and are able to wrestle uh, at the X in front of that many people and with all that going on around it? Uh, it's fun going down to the X. It's crazy. So many people there. Like walking out of the tunnel, it's just insane. When you look at your season, obviously you got to the pinnacle of where you want to get as an individual wrestler. What was uh, the best part in your mind that, that it was able to propel you there from, from an individual standpoint? Uh, the season went good. It was overall it went good, but yeah. What about uh, the future for you? Are you going to uh, wrestle yeah, at the next I'm level? I'm going to wrestle at Minnesota State University Moorhead. Okay, very nice. Going to be a dragon. Yep. And uh, what about, you're obviously moving on from the program. You've had, uh, you've made a couple of appearances at State. Some other guys, uh, Danny Klebeck in the last couple of years, have left the program in good hands. What do you think about the, their prospects moving forward and some of the other guys? Uh, I think there's a lot of young kids on the team. If they keep working hard over the summer and the off season. I think they should, be, they should do just fine. Thanks for coming on the show, Joey. Congratulations on uh, what your season was. And we got our first centennial wrestler here, Emily Shilson. You're a sophomore this year, correct? Mm -hmm. So you, for a sophomore, have done a number of things that, boy or girl, a lot of people haven't done at the time that they get to just being a sophomore. But we'll focus on the fact that you were the first girl to qualify for a 3A state tournament. What does that mean to you? When you think about that, and that's kind of a legacy you're going to have, what does that mean to you when you think about that accomplishment? It was really cool because a lot of the younger girls that wrestle, they look up to me, so it was cool to pave the way for them. What, what's the biggest key for you, knowing that you know, you're coming into a sport that you're, you're going to be you know, the minority in for sure? What's the biggest key to have some success and the success that you've had so far? Um, just keep working hard and do what I've been doing. How much does this guy next to you push you and help you out? I mean, you know, you've got in the family there with a lot of success. It's awesome having him as a role model. He knows a lot about wrestling, just helps me out with everything. What, looking forward now, obviously you've had some success to build on that. What are you looking to do uh, next year to make yourself even better? I want to win a state title. There you go. It doesn't get much more complicated than that. Thanks for coming on the show, and uh, it's always been fun to cover you. Congrats on your season. Mm -hmm. And then we have Tyler Shilson. Tyler, you've been uh, to the state tournament. Uh, you've got 193 career wins, which is towards the top of the record books. When you think about the numbers like that for you, just in the scheme of Centennial, which we've got three of you up here, we could have had a, a, a lot of Centennial wrestlers up here, and especially over the years, it's been a good program. To know that you're up there with some of the best that have wrestled at Centennial, what does that mean to you for your legacy? I don't really pay attention to the numbers too much. I just take it match by match. And so I, like when people ask me my records, I never really <laughs> even know. And that's just taking it match by match, you had, focusing you had a, on the things I need to do. You had a fourth place finish this year, right? But you finished, was it third last year or second? Second. Last, second last year. So top five, two years in a row. What was, what was the biggest key for you to be able to have that type of finish in the state? Like I said, taking it match by match and just focusing on one thing at a time. Because if I think about getting to the finals or getting to the semis, it's pretty daunting. And so just thinking about going out and scoring the first takedown and then scoring the first back points makes it seem a lot easier. And as a team, you guys have had some success, certainly in your time there, three straight section championships. What's been similar about all those section championship teams? Because there's been different wrestlers in different spots. Obviously, you were a young guy. Jake mm -hmm. was a young guy at one point. You've had your sister on the team as well. What, but what's been kind of the, the same thing, despite the changing faces at, at different weight classes? Uh, camaraderie and hard work. I think we're one of the hardest working teams in the state, definitely the hardest one in the section. So pretty obvious when we compete at a section tournament. Thanks so much for uh, coming out on the show and again congrats on your season, congrats on the career. Well, where you. are you moving on to? You know, what University you of Wisconsin. University of Wisconsin, going to be a Badger. Well, hope you have fun over there. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll leave some fans over here. That, that's a, a rivalry everybody knows about. And then finally on our uh, wrestling talk here for Centennial, Jake Berglund. 
Talk about top of the record books. They're, you're all over it when it comes to, to wins and takedowns and a season and a career. What stands out to you about kind of what you've been able to put up and, and accomplish so far in your career? Um, I mean, my goal since I was a kid is to be the mul multiple time state champ. And I mean, it kind of sucks. I was about one point away from that. But I mean, it was all kind of about leaving a legacy and trying to get ready for the next level, which is college, which I've been looking forward to my whole life. And you're going to go to be a gopher, correct? That's yep. What about that opportunity to wrestle for the gophers is kind of the most exciting thing for you? Um, I mean, growing up, I mean, almost everyone in the state of Minnesota wants to be a gopher. And I don't know, along the way, I was like hoping, but I didn't you know, actually think it was going to happen. And it was pretty exciting when it actually happened this fall. I think a lot of people, you said the goal to be a multi-state champion. But well, to be multi, you got to get one first, and you did do that, which a lot of people don't do. Last year first, yeah. this year coming in second. What was it about last year that kind of stood out to you as far as the biggest key to your success to get to that? I mean, not only the full season, but to get to the state tournament and then wrestle your way through is, is a whole accomplishment in and of its own. Yeah, last year I wasn't really, you know, coming season really picked to be in the top, even like two or three, four, because I didn't have such a great sophomore year, but... It was really great as the year went on. I got a lot better, and I ended up getting the one seed and win the state finals. So then coming this year, I really just wanted to continue that because I had a pr pretty good fall, too. So I just wanted to keep success going into college. And finally, I mean, as you leave the program, obviously there's a lot of talented guys behind you and, mm -hmm. and, and girls, of course, that will, that will follow in your footsteps. Mm -hmm. what, what excites you the most about being able to look back and, and, and see what Centennial will be in the future now with the wrestling program? We've built a big history at Centennial, and a lot of the youth, the younger kids know that. And there's basically no juniors so this year, except for one, I think. So it's pretty nice to be able to see that we have freshmen, sophomores starting next year for our team, and they'll have at least two years together. And they've really built a nice camaraderie as a team, a nice kind of a family now. We all hang out together. You know, so it's really nice to see them all coming together at a young age. Yeah, congrats on your career. Obviously, the, the state championship a, a season ago in second place this year. Best of luck as you move forward. Did you guys all vote for a pizza? Have you guys yeah. participated in our break? All right, good. So these are the ones that are making these decisions to start, and that's going to be a, a fantastic thing to watch. Thanks, all of you, for coming out, and uh, best of luck as you guys move forward and what it might be. Kenton, now I get to throw it back to you from the uh, – the Carson set, I guess, over here. That's way too old of a joke, I guess, for our current audience right now. But back to you guys. Whoa. Got it. I got <laughs> it. Yeah. I got it. You good. Careful. <laughs> wow. This is new. Hey, you saved We're still me. getting used to this whole thing. He threw it right at my face. I'm glad you <laughs> yeah. got that one. Yeah. I'm here to help. <clears throat> All right, back from the it's time the old Carson season. Daily, right? Yeah. That must be. Yeah. Thanks, talking about is that the only Carson you know? There's more? Wentz? Carson Nevada. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz.